This rule for the fundamental counting principle reads as follows. If one operation can be done in m ways and the second operation can be done in n ways, then how many total possible number of different ways in which both operations can be done is m multiplied by n. Now, the first time that you read this rule, it may sound a little bit confusing. But let's just read it carefully one more time. I also like to explain it in, instead of using the word operation to use the, the term task. So if I can, if, if one can do a certain task in m different ways and a second task, instead of operation I call it task, in n different ways. So I've got two tasks that I need to perform. The one can be done in m ways, the other one in n different ways. Then the total number of different ways, these two tasks, or what we refer to it in this definition as operation, can then be done in m times n different ways. So this is now in general where we use symbols m and n. We can also go to numbers, which will maybe explain it a little bit better. So I say, if I've got a certain task to perform, and I can do it on three different ways, and I've got a second task that I need to do, and that I can do in two different ways, then the total number of different ways that I can perform both tasks will then be 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. Now, that is what this rule is trying to tell us. And that is this rule that we're going to use to solve now probability questions. Let's look at now at the first example.